So our lesson in this video is all about circular geoboards. This is one type of circular geoboard that can be made at home. It is made out of a bulletin board and some tacks along with some hair bands. Um, you can find them online as well as making them at home yourself. Um, circular geo boards are great for students in class because they are visual and hands-on. So they're good uh, learning mechanisms for anybody. Here is one that can be purchased online. They are $3.99 a piece. Um, they're clear so that you can use them on the overhead. Um, they have the pegs on them as well and they come with the geo bands. Um, since technology is such an up-and-coming thing in the classroom, um, I found a few different ways to um, use circular geoboards on the computer, one of which being off of this website from Utah State University. There are many different um, teaching tools on here, one of which being a circular geoboard. So you go ahead and pull this up, and there's one right there for you to use on the computer. Um, these do come in handy. Um, just putting this right here like this. Getting another one right here. Oh, and there is a 90 degree angle. Um, not only can you make angles with these, um, geo boards are used for many things such as perimeter, area, fractions, graphing coordinates, as well as measuring degrees. So on the side here it has a few different activities that you can use from um, making different kinds of shapes, um, different kinds of triangles, as well as open and closed uh, figures. So this can be used um, for a lot of different things. Um, there's also one that I found that is a print off that you can print for your students, which I did. And here's one that um, it's actually one thing that's great about them is they do have as many pegs as a clock does numbers. So there is an uncanny resemblance there. Um, also, every peg from one number to the next is 30 degrees, as you can see here, to make a full 360 degrees for a circle. Um, a few different things I've represented here using circular geo boards. Um, here is one that represents circumference and chords. And um, just for anybody that needs to brush up on their math. Um, an arc is a part of the circumference of the circle and a chord is a straight line joining the ends of an arc. So um, the different colors represent different kinds of chords as well as the orange is the circumference. We also have um, something simpler for um, the younger students you're teaching. Um, obviously the green it represents the diameter. The orange and blue are different radii of the circle and the pink is the circumference. Here we have um, one thing that we know about um, inscribed angles that we explained in our lessons is the number of degrees in an inscribed angle is half the number of degrees in the arc that it intercepts. So here we drew a 90 degree angle using the circular geo board and we see that the arc um, it intercepts is 180 degrees. Last, um, here are different, um, a few different triangles um, representing that the blue is not an inscribed triangle while the pink is. Um, and that is just about all we have on um, circular geoboards. Thanks.